on behalf of Mr. Henry Chakrabarty to come on the stage. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure for me to be here this morning. Thank you, Vishal, for having me here. And I do for calling me. Uh, it's been a pretty challenging week for me. It's already now four cities. Uh, I'm very, very enthused by what I have been seeing this morning. You know, the whole involved, <coughs> participative uh, approach that has been adopted to stir innovation. And what is significant is that each one of you who participated in the uh, video talked about a, a business problem and you really talked, talked very little about technology. And that is where I think the next generation, which is all of you sitting in front, is going to be the differentiators that representing the industry, our mind is shifting from looking at it from a technological perspective to looking at business challenges to solve. Business challenges, social challenges, which then IT can come in and transform. So I think that was what hit me very much. The other thing that I would say is that uh, the next generation of youth in India have to address and take it head on the whole big challenge that we have of the digital divide. We have a few digitally privileged, a small percentage of society, and we have a mass which is digitally disprivileged. And if we are not able to get the benefits of technology to reach that larger section of society, we are going to see potentially a revolution on our hands. So the advent of the five digital forces, as we call it, you know, the mobile, uh, you know, the uh, digital way of life, look at the opportunity that is presenting itself for India. Look at our mobile penetration. Look at what we today do with our mobile phones. I think we only maybe you know, leverage 5% of the capacity of the mobile phone. Whereas, if you bring in more and more applications to the mobile, create a real-time, you know, vibrant mobile India, where people's lives can transform through productivity, through real-timeness of access to information, to the ability to transact on the mobile on the go. These are opportunities that we have, I think, which are waiting to be usurped and waiting to be leveraged by the innovation that you know some of you have put up as examples uh, in the contest. So I want to really congratulate Vishal for stirring this kind of innovative uh, orientation of the mind of your own team. It's a tremendous uh, initiative that you have undertaken. And from this, will emerge, I'm sure, many, many ideas. In fact, one of the things that I was sitting down here and thinking is, all of us do groceries, right? Imagine if somebody comes up with an application where I put out the list of the groceries that I need, and then I put it to tender across 10 grocery stores, and whoever gives me the best deal in terms of price, in terms of quick delivery, in terms of sort of the right product, I award that bid to him and all of this is actually possible on a mobile application. So I mean this is basically how do we translate our day-to-day -day needs in our lives and convert that into a digital application which then delivers an outcome which is bringing transformation. I think that's what really what the next generation of India is all about. I will just share with you one of the things that we did in Delhi, you know, we, we, we work with the Delhi Jal Board, for example. And Delhi Jal Board has about 2.2 million water consumers. And what used to happen was that the meter reader would be coming to every house, reading the meter, and saying, okay, you've got 800 units you've consumed, I'm going to make it 400 units, you give me 200 units settlement on the side. And the revenue would actually not go to Delhi Jal Board, it would go into the pockets of the meter readers. So we devised a simple mobile application which allows the consumer today to sit in his house on a Sunday morning, go to his water meter, 
take the photograph of the reading, that mobile app talks to the billing system, computes the bill, brings it back onto his mobile phone, he uses a payment gateway to make that bill settled. There is no meter reader anymore required. Disruptive, disruption is the potential of the next generation technology innovation. And we in India, who are always finding frugal ways to be able to you know, bring uh, ease, productivity, transparency, speed to our lives, the next generation of innovation will come from amongst the crop that you are here, the generation next. And I think initiatives such as the Tech Fest, initiatives such as the putting on a hat which is different from your day-to-day -day work that you do as programmers, as project leaders, as delivery leaders, etc., is the ability for us to really tap that potential that is really, I would say, so far under-realized in India, which is to unleash the, the creativity and the mindset of the next innovation that needs to come from India. We've heard a lot about Uber and a lot about many others. I strongly believe that the next generation of disruptive, uh, socially transformational initiatives will come from India. And I congratulate Vishal again for such an initiative that he's taken, uh, which is stirring the innovative, uh, you know, acts of the employees and the teams in, uh, in, in his organization. I was very impressed with uh, uh, what he has done so far, starting humbly and then building it up to here. We are exploring some, some opportunities where we can partner and work together. I, I look after the government business of TCS and we've done a lot of work uh, all over the country and in several other countries. And the whole thing is about transformation through technology. How do you bring ease of life? How do you bring speed? How do you reduce costs of governance? How do you eliminate corruption? How do you bring transparency? And I always believe that the, the greater masses have to prevail over the privileged few, which is otherwise known as the vested interest. And technology is the one platform that can really make this happen in our lives. And therefore, I think we have a task ahead. There's lots to be done. The dichotomy is that India is a $150 billion IT exporting nation, and Jamin is sitting here representing NASCOM, and he represents the domestic committee, and we do a lot of work together. The biggest dichotomy for each one of us sitting in the room who are in the technology industry is, if we can make the lives of people around the world better through technology, time has come for bringing the benefits of IT to our own people. And that is the opportunity that we have. So, again, appreciate your uh, gesture of calling me here. I really uh, enjoyed uh, all the different innovative ideas that were up for nominations. I wish each contestant the very best. As I say, it is, it is not always important to win, but it's very important to participate. So my congratulations to all the 92 teams that you know, put up these innovative thoughts. And from amongst this crop and many more will come the next generation New India. Thank you again for your attention.